Hi, I'm Simon from Sailing Britain, and today I'm going to give you a copper coat update. If you haven't seen all of our copper coat videos previously, it's a quick summary on what happened. In 2016, we got lifted out at Bennett Brothers up the Cape Fear River in North Carolina. At the time of lift out, we had normal ablative blue anti foul paint. While at Bennett Brothers, our anti foul was taken off and the hull was stripped back to the fiberglass hull. The required amount of copper coat was applied and we were excited to get Britikin back in the water. Simon, my brother, and our friend Ryan sailed the boat down to Charleston, South Carolina, where we planned to stay for six months over the hurricane season. Not too long after our arrival, Hurricane Matthew arrived. We decided to take our boat out of the marina and go up a river as far as we could to get away from the coast. Right after we started up the river, we overheated. Long story short, unbeknown to us, our hull and intakes were full of barnacles. After the hurricane, we went back to the marina and had a diver look at our hull. Diver came up and says, it's just barnacles all over. We complained to both Bennett Brothers and Coppercoat saying that we didn't expect a haul full of barnacles. We felt like no one cared about the fact that we paid over $15,000 for something that clearly wasn't working. Both companies agreed to pay for us to be hauled out to inspect the hull and fix any issues if there were any. Upon inspection, the USA representative for Copper Coat went around our boat drawing areas where the Copper Coat was either not sanded down well enough or not applied correctly. He told us that the boatyard did not do a very good job with the application. Bennett Brothers sent down representatives that followed Jim from Copper Coat's instructions. We were put back in the water with our patch job and left America for the Caribbean in December 2017. Unbelievably, all of our patch jobs seemed to have been working. They were clean and clear of barnacles, but the rest of the hull was full of barnacles. So we sent the footage of our hull to Copper Coat UK. After Copper Coat UK saw the footage, they said they'd send us enough Copper Coat to redo the entire boat, but they wouldn't cover the cost of our labor. Here's what our haul looked like after sailing from Charleston all the way down to Trinidad, the bottom of the Caribbean. This is very rough, and this is the patch, and this is just lovely and smooth. It just wasn't done properly. So these are all barnacles here. All barnacles, look. All okay, barnacles. so there's all barnacles here. But then this is a patch and, and it's beautiful and smooth. That's the new patch that's been done. The Boatyard Peaks in Trinidad is a well-known boatyard and has many satisfied customers. Peaks was very professional and explained that they've done copper coat and they fully understood the manufacturer's requirements for application. So we had another full application of copper coat over the entire hull and sanded to the specifications required. Britikin was put back in the water in September 2018 and November, a couple months later, Simon went down to check the hull. There's barnacles everywhere. Here's our GoPro footage in January 2019. So after the application at Peaks and I went down and checked it, I just wanted to cry because it was just, it was worse than before. We, at least we had some patches that were working, but this time the whole boat was again full of barnacles. We were just so upset. April 2019, we decided to do the Oyster Antigua Regatta and have our boat hauled out for a surveyor inspection. While having the boat out in Antigua, we inquired if the boatyard had any experience with copper cow and they explained they'd done several applications. Considering that Antigua is one of the largest boating islands in the chain, we thought that perhaps they might be able to get the product to work. We didn't have any more product applied. We had a team of guys sand the copper coat down, once again, abiding to the copper coat recommended specifications. Previous to the race, Simon cleaned off as many barnacles as possible, but this is the footage I took when the boat was out of the water. All those white spots are the remnants of barnacles. Unfortunately, the work at Antigua, they did a good job on sanding it, but because the application wasn't, doesn't, wasn't done right, it peaks. It didn't matter. So we thought we'd give it another go. That's what we asked. Copper Coat said, do that. But again, it didn't work. And I think that's purely down to the application. We were at our wits end. So we put out a video, our Copper Coat nightmare. And Copper Coat UK got in contact with us and said, look, we're really sorry. What 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 do you want to do? I said I just want a cop. I just want my, my bottom to work. 
they said, okay, we will finance you to get something else, or we will come out and get it done. And because of those patches that were done properly back in the United States, when the Copper Coke USA guy said, this patch is getting done, and they did it correctly, I know that it works. So I do, believe it or not, believe in the, in the product. So Jason flew over from Copper Coke, and then we got the boat hauled out here in Grenada. The boat's hauled out, and as you can see, there's barnacles all over it. The guys that uh, Copper Coat had hired started sanding it all down, and then we have a video of Jason from Copper Coat showing it how to mix it and apply it to the boat, which I think, if you're getting Copper Coat done, I think it's a really good watch. We're here um, reapplying Copper Coat. So if you want to see that video of Jason and the guys applying it to Britikin, have a look at this link here. Boat got put back in the water in November. We started sailing around. We were just about to do a Copper Coat update video when Corona hit. And we've been now here in this one place for 85 days and it's by a, in a marina here in Grenada. As you can see, I went down on the boat to have a look at it and check, check out how the copper coat was working. And I was over the moon! It's working, it's fantastic. We've uh, hauled out, the, as you can see or hear, behind me is jet washing it, and I've had a look. Um, the previous times with the other applications of copper coat we had on, we'd have thousands and thousands of barnacles on there and I'll say there's probably 10 barnacles on there at the moment so I'm very happy with that see there's no copper coat right here this is what the whole bottom would look like without yeah. it yeah. so that's really good it is not copper coat the product that is bad it's the people that don't apply it right the proof's there you can see it and uh, it's clean it's got a bit of soft growth on there and it's coming off of the jet wash lovely and it's great so thumbs up the copper coat now look it's out there, he's going to clean it, and that's it, that's all I have to do. I don't have to repaint it, I don't have to do anything like that, so I don't have to get under there and or pay someone to paint it or do it myself and get covered in blue or whatever colour you're putting. It's going to be there, cleaned it, sit there for three months, and I'll just put it back in, so yeah, happy. And I know now she's clean when I go through that water, she'll be going about half a knot faster than I normally go, so yeah, I love it. So Simon and I are in the car. <laughs> And we are so hot. We are soaking wet, um, and we've got the air conditioning on just to try and <laughs> bring our temperature down. They're moving Bridikin back over to a boatyard here, and we're just watching her from the air conditioning. So, if you want to see all of our copper coat uh, videos, see the link below. Go to our website and find the seven tips for a successful application of copper coat to your boat. It will save you time, it will save you money, and it will save you a lot of aggravation. Go there now. <laughs> Thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get some more great info.